Morning everyone, welcome to another fine day in paradise on Ko Chang Island. Now as the name suggests, Ko Chang, which actually means Elephant Island, I've decided today I'm going to try and find some elephants. So I'm heading to Klomp Son Camp, which is apparently an elephant camp on the north of the island. Uh, these elephants aren't for trekking and they're not for riding, which is something I'm totally against. I shall go on about that in another video but for today I'm heading to Klong Song Elephant Camp see if I can find some elephants. Happy days! Looking forward to this one! I've decided to stop off and buy some bananas. So, Adi Kap. Adi how are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Not only because, yes, I do like bananas, but actually, these are not for me. I'm heading to the Klong Son Elephant Camp, and I've seen the size of these animals close up. Believe me, you want to be on their good side. The one thing I know is they do like bananas. So on this occasion, I'm getting to the party, bringing good. gifts. How much? 140 baht? For this bananas? Month? Yeah. And not sell. Will not sell? Yeah. Oh, I want to buy for elephant. Uh, you can buy anything, uh, but I buy for one, uh, 50 baht. Ah, uh, okay. No. Uh, that is, you know, 50 baht. I have inside, but this one I cannot. Oh, so I can buy inside? Yeah, no, I can give to you. Uh, how, how many you want? I one, want two. One like this. One, only one. Um, how much is one? 50 baht. 50 baht, just for one? No, big uh, like this. Yeah, yeah, I have 50, okay. 50 baht, big one like that. Cut cup from cup. Right, so basically one pound 25 for a big bunch of bananas that I'm going to take to my massive friends. And hopefully that will keep me on their good side. As the size of these creatures, you really don't want to be on their bad side. That's a fact. So this kind lady has sold me some bananas at a good price and she's also asked me to do a little video of what she's cooking here. What is this banana? Yeah, you can try. It. How it's much good. is? How much do you want? 40 baht? I just want one to try for I video. You can try, no problem. Is it okay? I'll take you. your money, no Thank problem. Thank you very much, my You're dear. You're welcome. Right, I'm if going you, to try one of these little banana things. You can try first, if you like, you can take it. When, I, when like. I come back later, I'm going to no, buy no, some, no, okay? I'm, I'm not here tomorrow. I'm going in, in my home. Okay. Hmm. Okay. But most people say you cannot come tomorrow because it's very busy, because everybody say they come tomorrow. Yeah, well, I, I'm going yeah. to uh, my, uh, my dad in Puda. Oh, good. Okay. Right, just trying out one of these little uh, you can tell your battered this bananas. One this banana lovely lady has given me to taste. Where is this banana? Very nice, very, very nice. Could be filling, and as I'm planning to have some to eat later on, I'm only going to have this one for now. But, yeah. Hey, stop off. Little shack on the way, get yourself some bananas when you're going to the camp and have some fatted banana yourself. Lovely. Hmm. Moving on gracefully. There you go, look, got myself some bananas. I hope they like green bananas because uh, these aren't very ripe, but we will see. One of the many things I love about this island, I mean, just look at that beautiful view. And these roads are absolutely amazing. They're not chock-a-block with traffic and great. Just hire a little scooter, they're only about seven quid for the day. Drive careful, wear a helmet, and also wear some shades. Not because you look good, but because there are a few bugs that tend to fly into your eyes otherwise. But apart from that, look at that. Absolutely amazing. I love the freedom of riding a scooter on these beautiful roads on this island. Well, I thought I'd stop off and check out this view and this cheeky little fella. 
just nicked my can of coke out of my little compartment on the bike how are you didn't see my treats though do you know what i might just give him a banana in a minute just for the hell of it you know should i give him a banana is it going to cause a riot look at that wait 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 there you go oh no need to snatch is there there's no need to snatch oh feisty little fellas isn't it anyway moving on gracefully have a look at that view amazing isn't it beautiful be a little bit careful here because they're coming down in their hundreds now this little fella looks like he wants to uh, attack the bike grab something and they do just grab anything and they're very clever he knows just by watching me how to get into the back of my uh, bike now uh, he's moving on gracefully thank god something i haven't seen much of ambulances though it is quite common because these roads although they are normally flat look at that one down there they are also treacherous because it's mountainous area and you've got to be really careful especially if it's raining so basically hang a left when you get to this sign and that will take you to the elephant camp one thing one of the many things Thailand is famous for is its street food and I'm feeling a little bit peckish so I'm going to grab myself a little snack I'm not going to have too much because I'm going to have something to eat later on but for the moment can I have uh, two of these and uh, yeah just having some of this chicken or pork pork so I'm having two pigs on sticks and for the moment that'll do me up and cut how much 20 baht so 50 pence basically have a look up thank you have a nice day and you bye just to keep me going i've got myself a couple of little pigs on sticks as they call it basically basically skewered pork they normally heat them up for you on this occasion they haven't bothered but hey what the hell Beautiful. Fantastic little snack. Every time I see a little street food place selling these, it's my weak spot. I just got to stop. Love them so much. Beautiful. Mm. Now, not quite sure what this is, but looks like an interesting uh, building of some specification on closer examination I'm sure we will be a little bit more enlightened as to what it actually is some kind of elephant shrine by the looks of it could have been an old temple actually do you know what I think that probably is an old temple or the entrance to a lush hotel not really sure on this one any ideas comments below please because i'm a little bit baffled but anyway thought i'd stop and film that just for the hell of it There you have it, we have arrived. Klong Song Elephant Camp. Welcome. Right, let's try and ride up here without breaking my neck. Definitely looks like elephant territory. Little dog here gonna show me the way, I guess. Oh, and look at that. I think I just clocked my first elephant. Wow. Oh, my giddy art. Hey. 
Look at that. First elephant. Well, let's go and park up. See if they like bananas. Pretty sure they do. Beautiful. Another one over there. One thing about animals, they don't like being filmed for some reason or other. Hello mate! Look at that, how beautiful. Not looking too happy though, if I must say so myself. What's up with him then? Yeah, I don't like the look of that. Big fella over here. <clears throat> he looks a little bit happier. Beautiful animals though, look at that. Absolutely amazing. I don't know if they're gonna let me feed them. I've got some bananas for you, mate, but I don't think I'm allowed to give them to you. Let's find out. So, man says, yeah, it's all right. I'll give him some banana. So, happy days. Let's go and grab a banana or two. So, out with the bananas. And I wonder he looks a little bit happier because he's allowed to be fed. What's that mean? No, he's not, he's not going to do a banana selfie. <laughs> like that? Come on, mate. Come on. Come on. There you go. You know? Oh, he's flapping his wings. That's not always a good sign when they flap their wings. Come on, then. <laughs> Fantastic. So this is the uh, little place where you can buy bananas and all kinds of little goodies and of course a donation box to help the animals which I'm going to put a little bit of money in there because uh, every, every little helps and I'm sure if not all of it some of it will go towards the upkeep of the elephants. There you have it. Done my little bit for wildlife. Fantastic. Right, by the looks of things, there is actually a waterfall one kilometre ahead. So, why not kill two birds with one stone? Let's go and check this place out. Look at that, hundreds and hundreds of rubber plants. Look, see that's how it happens. You cut the bark in a certain way, the sap trickles down there and into that little pot. And that's 
going to be changed into rubber somehow or another. Don't ask me how, I haven't got a clue. But yeah, I just thought I'd film that for you. Loads and loads of these rubber plants. Makes you wonder what they use all this rubber for, doesn't it? Comments below. Keep it clean. <laughs> bit of a dodgy old road to get to this waterfall but we have arrived this is Klong Tao Liam 250 meters waterfall waterfall with an arrow pointing that way I guess that must be the way then onwards and upwards nothing ventured nothing gained as they say I hope this isn't going to be one of those two hour treks to get to the waterfall because I'm just not feeling the energy today it's about 35 degrees and I'm sweating buckets already without having to climb any hills or mountains and to be honest I don't know I did for a moment wonder if that would be the waterfall but just where the water crosses the road. Still beautiful, look at that. The water certainly looks nice and clear here. Can't see any fish swimming around yet, but I'm sure there are fish in there. Onwards and upwards. Private area, welcome to Ko Laon, famous of Chang Island. Ticket fee 40 baht a person. Thank you for the visit, food and drink. Do you know what? Might even stop here for a stop for a spot of dinner. Why not? Look at that. Cheapest chips, 60 baht for a meal. Definitely. You're stopping here for something to eat in a minute. Fantastic. Right, let's go and find out where I'll pay my 40 baht to go to see the waterfall. Hello? Howdy, Cap. Hello. Who do I pay money for waterfall? Yeah, 40 baht. 40 baht. Hello. Papuna cup, yeah. and that's for you, all right? I'll that's for you. Cup. You're welcome. Yeah. Where's the waterfall? This way? Yeah. Okay. All right, this looks interesting. I paid my entrance fee. Onwards and upwards. We can do it. We can do it. Waterfall, 250 meters. Welcome. Lovely little carving. Oh, that's a toilet. That's handy. Because guess what? I need to go to the toilet. Good find. So, for those of you who haven't seen a Thai toilet in the wild, that's basically what it is. Bucket there. When you've done your do, you literally fill the water up and flash it down like that. Jobs are good and as always I wish I'd worn my trainers. Flip flop flip flops are just not cut out for this terrain. But anyway, too late now. It is what it is. Carry on regardless. Yes, you might hear me stamping my feet. There's a good reason for that. Because snakes, they genuinely are snakes here that will kill you. But they're normally more scared of you than you are of them. And they 
know where you are by vibrations. So stamping your feet, they'll hear that and run away. And the only way you're likely to get bitten really is if you step on one or attack one. Apart from that, you should be all right, he says gracefully. Fine bit of forestry here. There's this bleeding waterfall. Waterfall, 200 meters. We're progressing, we are progressing. 50 meters gone, 200 to go. We can do it, we can do this. I hear the sound of water. That is always a promising sign when you're looking for a waterfall. And yes, this does look promising. Here we go. How you doing? Danger, some specification. Couldn't read the sign. I guess it means dangerous because of slippery rocks. And, oh my God. Well, there's no denying it. It is a waterfall. Okay, it's not the biggest waterfall I've seen in my life, but there you go. 250 meter trek for this little waterfall. Is it worth it? I don't know. It's a nice day out. Comments below. Right, we've seen the elephants and we've seen the waterfall. Let's go and have some lunch because I'm feeling a little bit peckish. And after that little trek to the waterfall, I'm going to grab myself something to eat. Let's see if we can sit somewhere. Hurry up. You have menu? Menu for food? I can eat food? Where do I sit here? Oh, here. Okay. Up. Up. Here. Yeah, it's a little bit hot here. I can sit over there. I can take this. Cup and cup. Now you got it. You got it? Okay. Cup and cup. Yeah, a little bit hot up in a restaurant area, so I've chosen this little spot. Perfect. Up and cup. Thank you, let's see what we're going to have to eat. I've ordered the suki with shrimp. I've tried suki before, could be interesting. Quite a few things to choose from. 60 baht, can't go wrong with that. Can of Coke, probably 30 baht, 90 baht, 100 baht, £2.50. Happy days. Well, what an amazing day. Elephants, waterfall. You'll have to excuse me. I am sweating buckets because it is about 35 degrees. It's getting towards evening time. And guess what comes out at evening time? Yes, mosquitoes. A little tip for you. Go to 7-Eleven, grab some of that stuff. It's mosquito spray. And I'll tell you what, it's the only thing I've found it does actually work. They don't like it. It keeps them away. Sand flies, mosquitoes. Yeah. Don't smell too healthy, but <laughs> I don't care. I'd rather not smell good and not get bitten than smell sweet and get bitten. Yeah, in many ways. <laughs> right, my shrimp suki has arrived. So I can see some celery. Um, some coriander, some carrot, noodles, glass noodles in there, cabbage, right, proof of the pudding is in the tasting. Can't really see many shrimps. Oh, I found one. There you go, look. See, can you still find? 
Right, without further ado, let's get stuck in and see what this tastes like. Suki soup. Hot, spicy. Looks like it's even had an egg broken in there. But yeah, interesting taste, very different to what I normally have. It is basically a noodle soup. But with all your typical Thai flavourings, chilli, kaffir leaves. Um, lemongrass, ginger, you know, usual stuff, but damn good. Oh, delicious, light, refreshing, just what you need after a little trek up a mountain, see a small waterfall. <laughs> Sorry. Add to half, it is only a small waterfall. But there you go. 40 baht, what do you expect? Anyway, moving on gracefully. What a beautiful curry. This is actually delightful, divine, so refreshing, beautiful, light, and that's it. Not a lot else I can say about it. Well, Klong Song. Elephant camp. It's not a sanctuary. It's a camp um, You can't go trekking on these elephants. You can't ride these elephants. They're not here for that To be honest with you 100% honest. I'm not really a person for chained up animals or animals in captivity I do like to see them in the wild in their natural uh, environments and habitats But on this occasion, I think these animals are looked after. I've donated a little bit towards their upkeep uh, if you know any different, please leave comments below. But to what the best of my knowledge and from what I can see, okay, a couple of them do look a bit, yeah, a bit shady. But what can you do? Chef's Travels, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully, see you on the next one. Cheers.